We did. We found actually a few of them, but they have seemed to carry it on walking in the same direction where this one is. Funny enough, we saw them from the other road that is parallel to this one. We drove around just to be able to try and get a closer look at them. And then, of course, now that we are on the other side of the road, then they have gone back to where they were initially, <laughs> just to try and make it everything easier. But these beautiful turkey-like creatures that we're looking at, these are the beautiful ground hornbills. And I think it's a flock of about maybe four. I think that's what I counted. I may be adding one. And obviously they are, as this one did in that very common flick of the head, they're busy looking for food. And when they do catch it, then they tilt their head backwards, open their beak, and pretty much pop whatever it is that they're eating into their mouth. Tristan had quite an interesting sighting of them a few days ago where they appear to either be finishing off or killing or heading against the remains of the carcass of another ground hornbill but in this case luckily it's quite a nice family affair <laughs> they're all busy looking for food and nobody's getting killed in the process because it is very sad because these birds are still considered somewhat endangered in this area and they are not as common as we would like them to be hmm. gone behind the termite mound now I see the road is heading back in that direction so I think what we're gonna do is actually try and go around once more see if maybe we can have a nice view of them because they seem to be up to a lot of things so hopefully we'll be able to get another view of them instead of them coming back this side oh yes Wendy you're turning on woohoo I was a bit nervous there for one second but let's see hopefully we'll be able to see them again where did you go guys come back now they are probably one of some of my favorite animals around here just because that so striking and the noise that they make the sound is very beautiful and it's almost like like water I don't know how else to explain the sound that they make is very beautiful now I thought the road was closer but I think I am mistaken and I actually saw a master drain which are these things here on the side of the road that are designed just to deviate the water flow so if the water starts flowing on the road it will normally come up from there all the way from the front and then go all the way down here so they actually design them to help with uh, the road or the maintenance of the roads and to avoid them getting damaged by the rain. At this time of the year, not too much to worry about, but when we do get the proper thunderstorms that go on for a few days at a time and when there's lots of water coming down, you want to try and get the water out of the roads so that the roads don't get damaged and they don't get really around. Now I'm, now I'm going to drive around again see if maybe <laughs> this hornbills will stick around in our search for VM's welcome back leopard I wonder who who it's going to be Ooh, parrot stop stop flying yes all right seems like it's the day of the colorful birds hello beautiful this is a brown-headed parrot you see that beautiful striking oh, and that color that very high-pitched noise I think he is in indulging in the fruits of that bush willow over there or at least that's what he seems to be eating <laughs> in quite a fashion yep is it yummy grabs it with its feet goes into the mouth eats a little bit just gets the tasty inside part and then when he's done poof off to the ground it goes well this was a nice surprise there's a pair that we always see around camp um, but I'm very happy to see them outside because we see them often but you just see those bright flashes of green flying around because the bottom part of their body is of that very striking green are you gonna fly i was almost hoping that he was going to fly, fly. Ooh, there we go very beautiful and green <laughs> 